is one of the, uh, the pioneer surgeon of uh, lenticular extraction in Korea. He's going to talk about the character refractory lenticular extraction of 2024 and personal experience of plasma study. Thank you, Dr. Kim, for that introduction. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very honored to be speaking here today, and I thank the Society for this invitation. Today, I will talk about CLEX 2024, my personal experience with both of our class and SMILE. In 2017, our group published in the American Journal of Ophthalmology that by reducing pulse energy, we were able to get better, earlier, and faster visual recovery in the early post operative period. There is created microcavitation in the form of hobia. And at the end of the operation, or late hobia is formed of the cap, we see there is much more uh, corneal and laser interaction in the form of hobia. Right. So, there is much more energy going into the cornea than we think. And we also published this, that there is increased surface roughness with more energy delivered into the cornea. Vision in the form of this, of this blue cloud. How and where the new pulses are placed determines how the new pulses will be distracted or affected by my microcavitation of the previous pulse of the order of microseconds, uh, milliseconds. But, the time between overlaps becomes much longer and gentler, allowing the bubbles, the microcavitation, to reach their maximum effect without new pulses distracting and being distracted by previous cavitation processes. So the modified asymmetric laser space, uh, spacing showed comparable visual outcomes, but it showed much less corneal high order aberration induction in smile for biopermanent stimulus. What further enhancements can, enhancements can we do? Now we have lower pulse energy, we have maximized or optimized spot placement asymmetry. What if we could perform class with only plasma, almost free of microcavitation or hobia? This is performed at 625 millijoules per centimeter square, left 100 nanojoules, far right 85 nanojoules, all with the same energy dosage. And if we look, hardly any opia has been occurring in the 85 nanometer group. And what was most surprising was the corneal high orders. Even on one day, there was less induction of total high orders, which lasted until one week through to one month. And this was the same for all of coma and strata operation. So there was less, much less induced in the plasma group. So plasma smile resulted in better cumulative visual activity in the early post-operative period with less induction of corneal high orders in the early post-operative. 